Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand power dissipation in a CMOS inverter. Okay, let's get started. In the previous clips, we have seen that my PMOS transistor turns on when a zero is applied at its input and my NMOS transistor turns on when a logic high or one is applied at its input. The very reason why they are called CMOS or complementary metal oxide semiconductor devices is that at one point of time only one is on when we talk about the digital levels. Now we need to identify the power dissipation, the static power dissipation. We know that the power dissipation is given by VDD into YD. The static power dissipation average is nothing but I'll divide my supply voltage into 2, VDD by 2, into ID when my input is high plus VDD by 2 into ID when my input is low. This is static power dissipation. So we need to understand one point which we have already discussed in the previous clip and that is this. There is some current flowing through my PMOS. Let's call it as IDP some current flowing through my NMOS, let's call it as IDN. If we assume this node to KCL, we know that IDP equal to IDN if current flowing through this node is equal to zero. Is that current zero? Let's quickly see that. IL is nothing but presuming that there will be a capacitor here at the output. C dB by DT. The very fact that it's a static characteristic or a steady state characteristic it means that my output voltage is settled to a specific value and there are no variations or deviations in my output voltage. So the difference in voltage is going to be zero. So C into zero, that means IL is equal to zero. That clearly means that for static characteristics, we can easily equate current flowing through my load device equal to the current flowing through my driver device. In this case, my load is my PMOS and my driver is my NMOS. So in static characteristics, we never draw the capacitor because the current is equal to zero. Now we need to identify the power dissipation. Okay, let's get on it. When my input is high or input is one, let's see in the circuit, high means say VDD, my NMOS transistor is on, but at the same time, my PMOS transistor is off. So IDP equal to zero, and we already know that in equation one, IDP equal to IDN, so IDN will be equal to zero. So the first term, the current is equal to zero, so it vanishes from my expression. Let's see what happens when input is low. When input is low or zero, my PMOS transistor turns on, but my NMOS transistor is off. So in this case, my IDN is equal to zero, we also know in equation one that IDP equal to IDN, so IDP will also be equal to zero. And hence, we can say that when my input is low, also that my ID will be equal to zero. So this expression also technically goes off. Remember, we are neglecting the leakage currents here. So there'll be a very minute leakage current, but nearly equal to zero. So the average static power dissipation for my CMOS inverter is nothing but zero plus zero approximately, which is equal to zero. This is one of the major reasons why we prefer CMOS inverters because its power dissipation is almost equal to zero. Hope you have understood it. Stay tuned for further clips. Thank you.